the party when the king is just resurrected after they kill him. And they will never be able to enter any towns or cities without being hunted for the rest of their lives. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? Skydive Ray here. Welcome to another GD memes video. How are you guys doing? Hope you have a wonderful day today. Before jumping into it, I want to quickly kindly ask you if you want to take a moment to smash the like button. It takes a second and helps out a lot, so thanks so much for that. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. When Kenku fly, the party, after I intentionally give my Kenku PC War Raven lycanthropy for its flying speed. Your tactics confuse and frighten me, sir. Who needs a magnetic personality when your explosive muscles can speak for you? When the barbarian makes a charisma check. <laughs> After two years of build-up, watching the Tegomaniac break was the most satisfying thing that I've ever been a part of. The big bad evil guy on death saves after being beaten by the party. This is impossible! I was a god! I felt beasts and monsters you couldn't possibly comprehend. I can't lose! I won't lose to a bunch of <laughs> drunks! The bard finishing them off with vicious mockery. <laughs> Don't care, didn't ask, cry about it, stay mad, get real L mold Sif cope. I'm sorry, I didn't know the consequences. When you have posted a funny meme for laughs, but actually started a subreddit wide socio political revolution against monarchy. It, uh, it, uh, yeah, it was a meme. <laughs> On the topic of the king that you've noticed in the previous video and probably will notice more of it in this one. <laughs> the character idea. A dwarf who does not believe dwarfs exist. Since he was raised by gnomes, he believes he's a dumb, really buff gnome. Don't ask how he got them. Me, reading my Artificer's player's detailed notes on their medieval nuclear missile project, quote unquote. We're straying further from the path every day. First character. I'm a tiefling rogue who lost her parents and had to survive on the streets. 812th character. I'm a badass frog that plays chess and I'm insane. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that does sound like kind of an interesting character. Homebrew versus the code. There are two types of DMs. The code is more what you'd call guidelines than actual rules. Huh? People love to make up things for the sake of refuting them. Paladins aren't boring. Nobody said they were. I mean, yeah, but what would be the subreddit if, uh, you know, people wouldn't start random arguments out of nothing every now and then? Accents are hard. Trying to keep your character's voice consistent during a long session, but your Australian accent is starting to sound Irish. Yeah, it is hard to keep a, <laughs> to keep a consistent accent on a character. I, I can only imagine how difficult it must be for DMs, you know, voicing the, the ones that do try to voice different characters with different voices, you know? It would be funny if this feat didn't specify where you pull the item from. Player. Okay, so I will open my backpack and pull out a 10 feet ladder to help us climb the wall. Wait, when did you buy this? Asks the GM. How did this even fit in your backpack? Pression planner. You regularly create convoluted plans and contingencies using your resources to enact them. You take one minute to remove your backpack then carefully remove an item you hadn't previously declared that you purchased, you intuited that you would come to need the item and purchased it at the latest opportunity. Good question! His name was Rombard and he likes to eat cactus. Available quests. Investigate mysterious murder, cleanse abandoned temple, or stake out suspicious NPC. Shove, shove. <laughs> Find missing goat. That one's my favorite, says the group. No, come on, that does sound like the most fun one. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like fun looking for goats? How do you fight the force of nature? Any D&D party of any level. I fear no man. But that thing, a random tornado encounter, it scares me. I did not even know that that was an encounter. And based on this, I don't really want to encounter it ever. <laughs> Jesus. Well, having a dragon friend is cool. When you play the enemy a bit too sympathetic and your party decides it is their friend now. Dragon just casually sipping tea and then the, the adventurers come to fight it, but they, they just end up sipping tea together, so that's great. Found an absolute travesty on the Q workshop site today. Haha, <laughs> you fool. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous of which is never get involved in a land war in Asia. But only slightly less known is this. Never actually try to make a spherical D100. I place my bets on the cats. Who would win? A gargantuan great worm or four cats because <laughs> they need great worm scraps to force some new hats. Great, that's 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 actually lovely. I'm I'm betting all my money on the cats. Oh no, not the plot twist. The king is kind, noble, and fair, 
making the kingdom prosper peacefully and well. Bunch of assassins ready to quote unquote push the plot forward. Just a friendly reminder that the Forgotten Realms lore is not universal D&D lore. This is just a random example. Hey, do you think I could play a Knoll with uh, asking Forgotten Realms? Are you kidding me? Gnolls are literal demon spawn, they are actual fiends in everything but actual creature typing. They are a demon lord's mindless servants. They are born when a hyena eats remains of their carnage and the new gnoll bursts out of its xenomorph style in an explosion of blood and gore. Also, hey, do you think I could play a gnoll? Asking Eberron. Sure, I don't see why not. <laughs> not, not all gnolls are equal, got it. <laughs> Simple as. Use this as inspiration for your next modern campaign. Problem. The USA army only has access to conventional weaponry, so they can't damage enemies that are immune to non-magical attacks. The solution? Crush the Germans with your mind. <laughs> US Department of PsyOps. To be king in a fantasy setting, they'd probably be stronger than you are most of the game. Party. We plan on killing the king and establishing a democracy. DM. Cool. Do you know how strong they'd have to be to be the king? It can't be that bad, says the party. <laughs> and then the king being uh, one of the final bosses in Nether Ring, alright. <laughs> Did this guy have the Spanish accent? Or was that Boblin? Keeping track of all the character voices as a DM. That's... alright. That is very interesting, Jesus Christ. A DM Splight. You've been writing this campaign for three weeks. Did you finish it? And then the, the poor guy is just staring at a blank document, untitled, no, nothing really. Gee, God damn it. Feel, feel, I, I can feel for him. My headcanon is that one was made by accident and the wizard panicked to find a way to fix it. Which spell part came first? Enlarge or reduce? <laughs> that's, that's actually great headcanon. One of them came first by accident and then they had to come up with the other to, you know, fix, fix it back. Enchantment magic is war crimes with rules. NPC Quest Organizer. I've assembled a ragtag crew of mercenaries to help us pull off the next job, boss. The Shapeshifter, Snake. Raccoon the Thief, Bunny the Muscle, and Mouse the Enchanter. I'm not sure about that last one. I brainwash people and force them to murder each other. Mental note. Don't <gasps> with mouse. That is a very good mental note to make. And I should probably do the same. I should write it down because I'll forget otherwise. But yeah, I'll be careful with the mouse in the future. It's called creative problem solving. Adventurers with uh, <laughs> ideas, their ideas and solutions. Yeah, that's um, that sound. That that seems very accurate. That seems very accurate. Initiative will be rolled in either case. Dungeon master mode and uh, and then there's dungeon master mode. All right. Just because he's a king does not mean he is evil. End of story. The murder hobo anti-monarchist players when they hear No, I am not letting you kill the benevolent king who's actually helping his kingdom and others just because he's a king without actual consequence. Surprised Pikachu face. Fighters can pass in saves. Indomitable. 7 ASI opportunities. Resilience. Storm rune. Magic items. And most important of all, <laughs> party members. New debate. What undead minion does your necromancer use? Which side are you on? Skeleton necromancy or zombie necromancy? I think I'm a fan of skeleton necromancy myself, to be honest. Could come in handy someday. Thanks. Thanks, 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 thank you. <laughs> the whole D&D group just can't thank you enough for nonsensically involving us in your <gasps> Way to make it weird. Signed by the gang. You know, I could give you the full context for this, but really, all that matters is that someone forgot to put his mic on mute on the Discord call last night when he was at his girlfriend's, and then today he was so 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 excited to get a card. And then he opened it up and his face crumpled and he started going, I know, I know, I know, I'm mortified, I know. Best two bucks I've ever spent, entertainment value wise. I cannot help it but feel terrible for that DM. Ah, uh, for that person, well, Jesus. I'm pretty sure, like, being completely realistic, he's just never gonna be able to forget that that happened. And then we'll take an 8 level dip into Fighter. Optimizers explaining how the build comes online at level 17. Suspicious Loot, DM. You find a suspicious gauntlet radiating with old elvish magic. Ooh, put it on! I'll keep it in my backpack to study later. Put it on, put it on! You deserve nice things. It is pretty. It's... Obviously cursed and you can't get it off again. Of course. 
<laughs> Too bad for him. God damn it. Good thing I'm not your DM. How dare you ban multiclassing? If my DM banned multiclassing, I would leave the game. I literally don't know who you are. <laughs> your opinion literally does not affect him, but yeah. F around and find out comes for everyone eventually. The rogue, when they finally get their comeuppance. What did I do to deserve this? I mean, what specifically? It turns out the royal vault has more than enough to afford the ritual. Why do you think the royals had a personal wizard? The party, when the king is just resurrected after they kill him, and they will never be able to enter any towns or cities without being hunted for the rest of their lives. <laughs> That's um, a yeah, yeah, surprise Pikachu face reaction, of course. What, you thought only party members could be resurrected? Closeted skeletons. Rogue. I grew up on the streets and have done unspeakable things just to survive. Cleric. It's okay, I'm sure everyone has some skeletons in their closet. The necromancer with actual skeletons in an actual closet. And the bard who's both secretly undead and secretly <laughs> Oh, poor bard, he's, he's actually sweating the most here. See you all in hell. Player. I wanna play a variant human with the actor feet. Interesting choice, says the DM. My character also always wears very convincing costumes and has a French accent. Original. It's a mastermind rogue. Is this Spy from Team Fortress 2? It's Spy from TF2. <laughs> Man, <laughs> goddamn. They f*** up. Your party are lost in the Crystal Cave. They found a baby Crystal Dragon and if they befriend him, he's going to bring them to his mom and she will help them find the way out of the cave. They killed the baby dragon. The ancient Crystal Dragon is on the way to TPK the party. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is completely deserved, I'm not even gonna argue that. I, I hope they all die. <laughs> No, dead ass. why doesn't it scale? If the DCs get higher, a level 1 fighter making an int save. Guess I'll die. And a level 20 fighter making the same int save. Guess I'll die. <laughs> Time to fight the secret boss. Emotional intimacy. Ugh, no matter what I throw at them, my players aren't scared. They call all the vampires d <gasps> The werewolves are poppers. <sighs> I need to dig deep and pinpoint their darkest fear. You are loved and valid. You bring genuine warmth and joy to each session. Oh, oh, oh. Royalty is a continuous constitution save. 138 damage in one turn. What do you think about death? Zealot Barbarian. Actually, I don't really think about it at all. When the adventurers from Sigil get stuck on the Prime, the DM, making a huge world with lots of interesting things going on and places to explore, and that looks cool, that looks like really cool artwork, uh, actually, Jesus, that looks really cool. Anyway, and then the part ignoring everything because there's a festival going on in the next city and there will be fried food. <laughs> friends don't let friends play D&D. One in five teenagers will experiment with D&D. <laughs> Do you want to end up a f like your sister? First, you're drawing. Then, it's the full-on world building. Mom. I was just holding dice for a friend. I learned to DM from watching you, mom. And also the, the, the small text underneath each of them for some reason says talk to your kids about art school. Corporate would like you to find the differences between these two photos. A big chunker and then another big chunker. And uh, the, yeah, they're both the same. <laughs> oh, beautiful, actually. It always turns out this way, let's be real. Also, watch this movie, it's good. What people imagine a pirate campaign will be like and what it's actually like. You know, that's a nice note to end the video on. And uh, yeah, with that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like if you didn't remember me and already. Also, thank you to everyone for bringing up Patreon as well as to buy those. Thanks for those. Links for if you didn't check them out, the links to the subreddit, Discord, and everything else. And yeah, that's it for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.